Hello, I wanted to talk about another game. This time it's about girls in tanks. And no, not that one. What we have here is a game where you drive a German tank with a mostly female tank crew through the Blitzkrieg. It's a light-hearted and fun game. Wait, you can choose from a variety of tanks. In the beginning you will only have the smaller ones and they won't have a big crew on board. That will get more as the game continues. You will have the possibility to get better tanks. All of these tanks have a variety of stats, like their armor from different sides and angles, their speed, the speed of the turret, the speed of the reload, how much ammunition you can take with you and of course how good your aim is. You can't really change anything about the tank itself uh, other than the paint job. There's different kinds of camouflage available but I don't think they do anything in the game. The only way to get better stats with your tank is your personnel. Here you have a variety of mostly girls who can drive your tank and yeah, we have cute girls driving a German tank in the Second World War. That's an interesting concept. Most of these have uh, some abilities that can be upgraded through the currency you get. And they all have an extra bonus ability which you get if you do a certain mission with the two girls or a girl and a boy. We have males in here too. And win it. Then you get the second ability. Also you get some dialogue that might have lost something in translation. I don't know. They all don't make much sense. The missions will bring you through the German Blitzkrieg, starting with uh, Poland, then going through Belgium into France, dropping the ball at Dunkirk, and after that it's time for Barbarossa and attack the Soviet Union. There is no infantry available in this game, which is a good thing because getting infantry in front of your tank can get very messy. But it's purely the Blitzkrieg angle, that means, roughly, that you get your armored vehicles in front and have the infantry follow after a while and clean up the mess you made. After you've selected your personnel and your tank, you can select the mission and start it. These missions all start with a little chit chat from your crew. Mostly they talk about the situation of the war or maybe the strategic uh, things you are doing. Sometimes they'll just talk about how much they hate the enemy or maybe they talk about their girlfriends at home, which seeing this is an all girl crew means we have uh, couples of the same sex. And that's something that made me think, because I don't think the Nazis would be okay with that. Then I remind myself I'm playing a game where I drive a tank with an all-female crew in the Second World War, so I shouldn't overthink the rest of it. So we are now in a Soviet um, city and it's a little different from other rounds because most of the times all the walls, left and right, are made out of paper mache or something like that because if you drive with your tank through them, they crumble to dust. Not in this mission because, well, I guess the cinema in this Soviet town odd, was made out of sterner stuff. If you drive your little tank, you will see that it really moves like you would imagine a tank would move. I mean, I don't really know it because... Well, I drive a smaller car in real life, not tank, so... 
I can only imagine this is the real deal. You only have to fight other tanks and uh, artillery cannons. If we look at the back of our tank, we see our entourage. The blue tanks are always the ones that will follow us and get in our way if we want to get back. But uh, aside from that, they will be our wingmen and help us with the mission. There could be some tanks in with green uh, colors that are our allies and they do whatever they want. They might even be the ones we have to protect in some missions. The red ones are all to be destroyed because that's the enemy. We have three different kinds of ammunitions. There is the number one ammunition which is the standard stuff against armored vehicles. There's the number two which is to be used against the really armored vehicles and number three which is for the unarmored stuff. We can also have uh, a smoke screen in front of us like this. Announced in Japanese by our German tank operator. These smoke screens should help us not getting targeted, but they also work against us because we can't really see through them and if there would be a tank on the other side, well, we wouldn't see him. As you can see, the green dot in the middle is the way you want to aim. The little red one, that's your turret trying to catch up. That's where you really are shooting at. There were other little things like I could uh, ask for an airstrike, which is one of the two ways to get on the map and look around. The other thing would be to ask for supplies. Now the only thing I is left for me to say is uh, how do you attack something? Let's search for a tank now. As you can see in the lower right corner, that's your tank and at the moment it's not damaged. Yeah, um, this is a very superior very superior model. It's a tiger tank. And they are pretty effective. What? Good. You can repair your tank if it gets damaged too much, which is uh, useful and needed in many situations. Moving your tank is a little tricky because it's so bulky and some of these obstacles are just too steep to get past. You can also uh, get a better aim by using this mode. Oh. More to come, more to come. This mode is especially interesting for farther away targets. You can change the ammunition. Normally they will only have the uh, better ammunition. And as you can see this situation is not ideal because the wear of my tank isn't armored as much as uh, the front. Uh, 
And these guys are no easy targets. And they're coming from all sides now, so... This was getting a little busy here. No, no. So, after disposing of the uh, enemies, you can f try to complete your missions, which normally involves destroying enemies at a certain point on the map. Or reaching a certain point to occupy it. As I said, it's a light-hearted and fun game. Not too hard. And surprisingly, comments and historical informations in it are fairly accurate, which isn't really needed for a game like this.